purpose of this video is to demonstrate an effective technique for achieving consistently accurate results in articulating diagnostic casts. While the demonstration is with CAVO articulators, the concepts apply to all articulator systems. Be sure to start with well-groomed casts. Here's the armamentarium we'll need to articulate the diagnostic casts. We have a scale, a semi-adjustable articulator, mounting stone, a mixing bowl, a mixing spatula, a graduated cylinder, well-groomed study casts, our bite fork, face bow, we have wire and compound, mounting plates, a transfer jig, a roller, a pin for stabilizing the cavo articulator, a pencil, we have our CR record, the Panky Accumount, and an APT burner. Start by verifying that the condyles have been locked in centric relation on your articulator. Remove the incisal guide table and the incisal pin. Next, screw the post into the upper member of the articulator. Attach a mounting plate with a retention clip on the upper and on the lower member of the articulator. The retention clip is a feature unique to CAVO. Place the bite fork transfer jig on the articulator. Attach the bite fork assembly to the transfer jig, or in the event that you don't have a transfer jig, attach the entire face bow assembly with the bite fork attached to it to the articulator. Place the maxillary cast on the bite fork. Be sure to check that the maxillary cast does not rock. Now we're ready to mix our mounting stone. Be sure you add powder to liquid. In this case, we have 52 milliliters of water, and we're going to add 200 grams of powder to that. Now open the articulator and apply the stone to the upper cast and to the mounting plate. If this is done carefully, we can complete this process in one step without having to add any more stone. Close the articulator and wipe off the excess stone. Do not reopen the articulator until the stone has set thoroughly.
Now give the model time to set thoroughly before removing it. Now that the stone is set, remove the model from the articulator. Take your transfer jig and bite fork off also. Place the models together at maximum intercuspation. Now mark each model with a horizontal pencil line on the gingiva adjacent to the central incisors. Measure the distance between the lines in millimeters and mark it down. Insert the CR record between the models and ensure that the models do not rock. Now measure the distance between the lines once again and write that number down. Subtract the first measurement from the second and extend the incisal pin the difference of those two measurements. Now we're ready to articulate the lower cast. In order to do that, we need to stabilize the lower cast against the upper cast with the CR record in between. To stabilize that, we have a couple choices. We can use wire and compound, or we can use the panky Accumount. We're going to demonstrate both techniques for you. Let's start with the wire compound technique. Hold the models together tightly and place a V-shaped hanger wire against the models. Heat some compound with an APT burner and apply that compound to three spots looting the models together. Now be careful to hold the models together firmly as we rotate this. Air dry the compound to ensure that is completely hardened. Now place the models back on the articulator Place your pin and your incisal guide table Now you can mount the lower model as you did the upper, as previously described. Now we're going to demonstrate the technique for using the Panky Accumount. Uh, we flipped our articulator over and we're going to keep our pin on the upper member of the articulator. What we want to do is place our models on the upper member with the CR record interspersed between them. We're going to take the panky mount and slide it down the pin of the articulator. We're taking the metal portion of the panky mount and centering it over the CR record. Really we're trying to find the middle of the CR record when we're doing this so that when we press down on this we're putting the force equally over the record and not uh, tilting the cast in any way.
and we've achieved that, we're going to go ahead and tighten the AccuMount on. And we're just going to check to make sure everything's stable and not moving in any way. Now we're ready to add our mounting stone. We're going to add the stone right over top of the metal tongue of the Aki mount. There will be a small gap in that area which we'll fill in with stone later. It helps to add some stone to the, the lower mounting plate also. Now we close our articulator into contact and we clean up our stone. What we'll do here is add and fill in all the gaps so that we do not have to add to these spots later. When we're finished filling all these voids, we'll allow the stone to set for the appropriate amount of time, and then we'll come back and remove the AccuMount. All right, now that the stone's set, we can go ahead and remove the panky acu mount. I'm going to be careful uh, not to separate the casts in this process here. So we're taking this screw off and lowering this part of the acu mount, separating the two pieces. At this point, we can pull this more or less straight out. And there we go. Our lower model is articulated, and we have a small gap here that we're going to go ahead and fill in with some stone. And we're filling in the stone here. When we're done with this, we can go and polish our model up and make it presentable to the patient. In order to clean the models, start by using wet, dry sandpaper on the models. Next, you want to polish your models so they can be presented. Start by using pumice. Next, shine the model using Fabuluster.
Once both models have been polished, they're now ready for presentation. This completes our demonstration. Remember, excellence is dependent on the quality of the previous step. Thank you.